Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying fun life hacks from the video. 40 awesome life hacks that will save you a fortune by five minute crafts. Now bring on the crafts! So for this one, you're gonna want to get some Skittles and put them right inside of your waffle iron. Add your little popsicle sticks, and now you got yourself a cool lollipop. I have a good feeling that this one is gonna destroy my waffle iron. But for the sake of the craft, we're gonna try it. Let's sort some Skittles. Oh, and time! Yeah, not bad for someone who's partly colorblind. And then we get our waffle maker. And I'm gonna try and do like a rainbow lollipop thing. I'm just kinda scared I'm gonna burn myself on this hot iron. Now the orange, yellow, some green. And they don't have blue Skittles regularly, so I'm just gonna add purple at the very end. Last but not least, we add the popsicle sticks. Okay, let's hope this doesn't burn down my house. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see where we're at. Oh, oh my god, oh my gosh. I definitely have to let this cool down before I pull it out. It definitely melted them. Not bad. I think I'm even gonna bust out my box fan just to help cool it down faster. Dang, this fan is so big compared to this little waffle iron. And now we wait. Okay, so this seems about cooled down. Now let's see if we can get it out without breaking it. You ready? Oh. Okay, we'll try it again. Oh, come on. Real gentle. <gasps> we did it! Whoa! It came out! <gasps> oh, I broke it! That was totally my fault. Oh, two and a half out of four ain't bad. At least I got this perfect one. Now let's try it out. I don't think I've ever tried a Skittle-flavored lollipop before, so this is definitely gonna be a first for me. Okay, let's try it. Whoa! I don't think it's as good as a regular lollipop, but it's a really cool concept. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one a seven out of 10. Go ahead and try it if you want, and make sure to tag me, uh, at Robbie Epic Sauce on everything. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, everything. If you, if you do it, make sure to tag me. If you try any of these hacks, make sure to tag me, because I wanna see if you guys do it better than me. Anyway, yeah, pretty good. Hmm. Okay, now how the heck am I supposed to get this thing out of my waffle? Uh, on to the next one. So anyway, here's how to make some coffee if you don't have a pot. You just uh, put all your coffee inside the cup, put some water, and then you put a burning log. Are you gonna get ash all inside of it? That looks disgusting. My theory is, this is probably not gonna work. Let's try it. Okay, so first we get our cup, then we get our coffee. Well, I'm actually using a, a cocoa mix because I'm not a big fan of coffee, but I am a fan of hot cocoa. So that's what we're doing. Put some of that in there, add some water, mix, mix, mix. Oh my gosh, I'm getting this cocoa everywhere. It doesn't want to mix into the water for whatever reason. Wait, oh, this is baking cocoa. I mean, I'm sure it's like the same thing, right? Like, that can't be the reason it's not mixing. Anyway, it's it's good enough. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we have some real hot chocolate mix in here somewhere. Uh, oh, perfect. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh, that looks way better. Okay, perfect. Fire time. Fire rules. Okay, now it's time to add the fire. Theoretically, this should boil it. Is it boiling it? I don't know. What do you think? Does that look like it's boiling it? It definitely looks a little bit more throffy. Hmm. Dude, all this ash is gonna get inside my hot cocoa and I'm gonna drink it. I feel like that's not good for you. Mix it all up. And theoretically, this should be hot cocoa. I'm gonna dip my finger in it first. That's still super cold. Maybe we need to get it hotter? Fire time! <laughs> Now that it's just on fire, just put it in our hot cocoa. Instant boil, instant boil. Is it gonna work? You can kind of see where it's like doing little bubbles. Maybe that's uh, it boiling? Maybe? I'm gonna let it sit for a second and uh, and I'll let you guys know how this turns out. A few moments later. Okay, it's been, uh, it's been a couple minutes. Ooh, we got some chunks of the, the burnt wood in there. 
Yummy. Okay, so I'm gonna stick my finger in and see if it's warm. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, it's so cold. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Zero out of ten. So you make yourself a fun little ring. Get yourself a marker. Just start making outlines of leaves. Fill it in a little bit. Keep going all the way around your pen. Slide it right off. And boom! You got yourself a fancy little ring. Wow! So cool! I can't wait to have myself a fancy ring like this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pen. This looks like it's about the size of my finger. Uh, it should fit, right? I mean, hopefully. Now I gotta try and make the leaves. Let's see. I mean, it's kind of a leaf. Look, I'm not that great at drawing, okay? I can barely even draw in 2D, let alone 3D. Come on. I think I'm gonna start off with the stem, then I'll add the leaves a little bit later. I'm trying to think maybe I should have chose a different color. It's because you can't really see it on the black part of this pen. Okay, I did the vine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves. I'm gonna use green filament for the leaves just to make it stick out a little bit, I think. Ah! I hate how this gets tangled. Not gonna lie, this is my introduction to 3D pens, and I'm not a very big fan so far. Like, what even, what is going on with it? It just doesn't want to do the thing. Yeah, that looks just like a leaf. Can I take this off? Oh god, I just broke that off. Now it's going back on the, the pen. Gonna try and remake this leaf. Yeah, I guess that looks a little bit more like a leaf. Yikes. Okay, and uh, yeah, so we made all of our uh, leaf shapes. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but it'll have to do. Now I gotta try and slide it off without damaging it, which I think I already did. Oh no. And all the leaves fell off. Oh no, that's not good. But will it fit on my finger? <gasps> what? Oh, another leaf broke off. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> What a great the 3D pen ring. Oh, the details that you can really achieve with these things. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh gosh, oh no. It's very weak though. Here's how to get yourself out of your handcuffs. Find yourself one of these fancy paper clips and just shove it right inside the hole. Apparently it'll just open right up. I don't know how legit this is, but I guess there's only one real way to find out. Okay guys, so here are our handcuffs. As you can see, they are legit handcuffs. We got a little keyhole, and they won't come undone unless you have the key. Or, you know, if you cut your wrist off, then you could do that. Anyway, can we take this guy off? Now apparently you should be able to just put it into the hole and then turn it. Yeah, that's not working. Nope. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know about this one. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's a scenario. Your friend brings over pizza, but unfortunately it's frozen? Wow, you really pulled through on this one, didn't ya? This girl's like, why am I friends with this person? So you're just gonna go ahead and grab a big old box of pine cones? Do I really have to grab pine cones? Like, are they necessary? Put some blocks in there, slap on your iron, and then put some tin foil. Plug that bad boy in, and heat up your pizza. It works like a charm. I feel like it would start melting those plastic bricks. I think they're plastic bricks. They don't look like ceramic bricks. Mmm, yummy. Oh. <laughs> Melty cheese pizza. Looks delicious. We have successfully failed at this one. <laughs> well, let's, let's go try it. Okay, so here's our iron. Go ahead and plug this in. And then I have to somehow set it up so that it stays up by itself. Here we go. Oh, this feels kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I went ahead and grabbed a box because they used a box to kind of hold their stuff up. So, so maybe if I grab a box, it will uh, help me hold this stuff up. Boop. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of working. In the crummiest way possible, it's actually kind of working. I'm running out of random wood bits. I guess uh, this will have to do. Yes. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> Go ahead and put some tin foil over it. Yeah, there we go. Clean surface. I like it. Now I'm gonna just uh, slap my frozen pizza on there. Boom. Oh, yes. This is gonna be so tasty, I can already tell. They also went ahead and used a hair dryer, so uh, I'm gonna do that too. And hopefully we'll have something that's cooked by the end of this. Oh, my pepperonis! <laughs> oh no. Looks like I have to be a little bit more careful. Stop flying off! 
my goodness. My poor pepperonis. Okay. I don't know. What am I supposed to do about this? Uh, I'm just gonna put it on low. Oh, this is taking so long. I have to do it on high. Screw the pepperonis. Okay, so after reading the instructions, it says I have to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. I don't want to sit here for 25 minutes doing this. That's crazy. It's going to waste so much electricity. I'm running the hair dryer and the freaking flat iron. What the heck? At this point, just throw it in the microwave. <laughs> okay, we will continue. We'll do it for the craft. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I've had I've had enough of this. Let's see how cooked this actually is, shall we? So the cheese is just starting to melt. So that's good. The bottom looks pretty crispy. Kind of warm, that's good. But let's see how it tastes. It's still frozen on the inside. Mmm. Yummy. Well guys, if you're in a pinch and this is really all you have, I, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. It's really not great though. <laughs> First things first, I'm gonna need a bottle. Yeah, this ought to do. Just go ahead and dump out that flour. Perfect. Grab some fishing wire. And last but not least, we're gonna need a pencil. Actually, a straw should do just fine. So we grab our straw and our fishing line, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tape the fishing line onto the straw. Whoop. Yeah, pretty easy. And stick that right in there. Oh no, my straw is stuck inside my bottle. Then we pull this fishing line and... Wow! It comes right so we just grab it. I'm just gonna grab some tape. Just tape it right on me. It's pretty unsuspicious. I'll just be like, Oh my God, it's floating. Will it work on the intern? We're about to find out. Okay guys, so I actually made the intern sign a contract that whenever I press this button, he has to come no matter what he's doing. So here we go. Oh my God guys, it's working. He's coming. Bro, is everything okay? Yeah dude, okay. Okay. Ball. I, okay, I have a very important uh, job. I hope it's important, I was in the shower. <laughs> You were in the shower? Well, I need a peaceful bath once in a while. Dang! Dang. This actually works so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, the, your important task is I need to show you this magic trick. Better be a good one, because, you know. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to make this straw inside of here float. <laughs> Was it a good trick? Did you not like it? A A for effort. A for effort, Robbie. A for effort, Robbie. Guys, I can't believe he actually fell for that one. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. works. So the first thing we're gonna need is to put Tora Branski's hair back because we don't want to get latex in her hair. Now we grab our liquid latex. Just pour a little plate of that. Ooh, are you excited? No. And then I put all around. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm pretty good. There we go. Now I add some more latex. We gotta wait for like 10 minutes for this to dry. Later in the void. Now it's time to cut it open. Mm -hmm. You want you want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, you here get get into the camera. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Hey, I can talk again. Hello. Oh man, we got to put this back on. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and pull this back a little bit. Okay. And then I kind of want to make this match your skin color a little bit more. So, I'm going to put on some foundation. Dude, this stuff is powerful. You can't even tell it's there now. On camera, it looks great, okay? Then we go ahead and blend it in. Really just blend it in. This might take a while. There's a lot of makeup here to blend in. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, so now we get our black face paint. And then we just uh, fill her right in. Yes. Just get right, just get right in there. Ooh, yes. <laughs> looks so pretty now. Hey, hey, baby boy. Now it's time to bring in our fake blood. There we go, let's add some more fake blood. Oh! <laughs> We're just really testing the limits of this napkin, aren't we? <laughs> Good thing we got name brand napkin. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is looking pretty scary. Pretty hairy, pretty scary. I should have given this to you at first, but I forgot. There you go. Now you're wearing pink apron. <laughs> Robbie's, oh, Robbie so the king funny. of crafts. So the recipe actually calls for nails. So I'm gonna look through my tool uh, box really quick to see if I, ooh! 
Ooh. Here's something we can use. I like that. Here, hold that. Nice. It's a good thing I have a bunch of this hardware just laying around. Okay, you ready for this? This is gonna be the scary part. So I'm gonna have to screw it in like that. I don't know if it hurts you. Please don't move. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Yeah, so one down. Looking pretty, that's looking pretty spooky already. One down, a few more to go. There we go. Looks pretty, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit more blood just to really sell this. Wow. <laughs> Aren't you impressed, Tony Nebraska? <laughs> I'm gonna take this off so you don't have a pink apron on. Hey guys, it's Tori Nebraska. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this what? wonderful Screwed up your face! <laughs> Aren't I so funny? So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. So Tori actually decided to put in some red contacts and it looks really cool. I need to go get some balloons! Oh yes, my storage room. I haven't quite uh, labeled these yet, so <laughs> I know I have balloons in one of these. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this one's just empty. Oh, here we go. Oh, we hit the mother load. These are all the balloons that I have left over from when I filled my house with 10,000 balloons. I put $10,000 in them. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click the card right here. But anyway. Oh wait, it doesn't have to be that big. Yeah, this is gonna be a great beauty blender. Okay, are you ready? We just put our foundation right on the balloon. I'm starting to think it's empty. Yeah, so we put our foundation right on the balloon. <laughs> and then we put it on our face. I need a mirror. Oh, I hate this already. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is so blotchy. This is awful. This makes an awful beauty blender. You guys can't really see it, but like it's making super weird patterns on my skin now. Oh, let's do my cheek. Oh, I forgot to shave. Get my nose hairs too. Okay, back to my cheek. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is awful. I guess I gotta commit to this. I'm gonna do my whole face. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> this is so blotchy. I can't even get it in my eye hole. This is actual trash. You guys see that, right? Not letting it all. So fun fact, guys. I actually got my nose uh, cut off by accident when I was five years old, and this is a scar. The balloon won't go inside the crevice of my scar. Wow. <laughs> Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely does not work. I'm gonna have to give this one a 2 out of 10. Wouldn't recommend. <laughs> oh yeah, so first things first, let's cut a freaking lemon. This bad boy ought to do it. Grab ourselves a bowl, put a little bit of coffee in there. Ooh, that might be, that's way, that's way too much coffee. <laughs> I don't know why, but their coffee looks so much lighter than this. Like, ours is so dark. Add our lemon juice. Mmm, yummy. Okay, that ought to do it right. And last but not least, we add our toothpaste. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this looks awful. Five minute craft, what kind of concoction are you having me make this time? <laughs> so this has like a weird consistency like ice cream, but it smells so funky, like mint coffee. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to see uh, if this will remove some armpit hair. So my prediction is that this one is most likely probably not gonna work. I don't think that this one's gonna work. <laughs> well, you know, you'll never know if you don't find out. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of armpit hair. Sometimes I shave it, sometimes I don't. Just kinda however I'm feeling that month, you know? Ooh, I am not really looking forward to this. How long do I have to leave this on? Wait for a while. How long is a while? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my armpit it goes, I guess. This is not pleasant. Ooh. They kind of like mixed it up a little bit, so I guess the only thing for me to do now is uh, wait a while. <laughs> I'll come back in like 20 minutes. Okay guys, it's been about uh, 20 minutes. Oh, this looks so bad. Well, let's see if uh, it removes some armpit hair, shall we? Ah! Nope, that's not coming off. My hair is out. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, my hair is still uh, definitely still attached. This is disgusting. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Zero out of ten, wouldn't recommend. Okay, 
so in theory, one balloon will make my phone float. I feel like this one's not gonna work, mostly because phones are kinda heavy, you know? If it doesn't work, I'll try it with a GoPro or something. The first thing we're gonna wanna do, Oh, that's a very light air tank. That's how you know it's full. Helium is one of the only things where the, the lighter it gets, the more empty it is. Wait, no. Pretty full balloon. Then we tie it to a string. I don't want my phone to float away. Then we get our tape. Put that on my phone and tape it right onto the balloon. You guys ready to see if this is gonna work? Oh, I should record this on my phone too. Okay. You guys ready? I wanna let it go in three, two, one! Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe I need a lighter camera. I'll try it with my GoPro, which is a little bit smaller than my phone. Okay, take our GoPro and tape it to the balloon. There we go. Okay, you guys ready for this one? In three, two, one! Oh my, where'd my GoPro go? that this one doesn't work. Kind of unfortunate because I was really looking forward to like this DIY drone. <laughs> okay guys, so here's our banana. Now what message should I write to Tori Dobransky? Hmm, I got it. I'm gonna write, you are the best because she's truly the best. Real easy. There we go. Now I just let that sit for a second and then apparently this should turn kind of dark and you'll be able to read it. Okay guys, and it's been about 15 minutes. You can just barely read it, but it says you are the best grift of friend. I really have to work on my handwriting. Anyway, uh, let's give this to Tori and see what she thinks. Okay guys, so I actually hired Tori as my new secretary. So right now, she is currently typing every single thing I say. Aren't you Tori? I'm doing really hard work right now. You are, you're doing fantastic. Tori, where's the word document? The word document. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Tori, I got you a gift. It's a banana. Aww. Aww. You're the bee's girlfriend. You're the bee's girlfriend. Yeah, see, you're the bee's girlfriend. <gasps> you brought my banana. Thank you. I like it. Would you have to say that this one works? I mean, was it the message? Yes. Yeah. I think it worked pretty well. I think you're the beast girlfriend. I'm beast girlfriend. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Thanks a bunch, one, two, three, go. What a fantastic hack. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a poppet. Oh, this one's looking a little bit sus. Don't tell anyone. And then we're gonna get our baking soda. They said to do this afterwards, but I'm putting it before. That way it doesn't stick inside. I think I might've put a little bit too much. You're only supposed to put enough to where it kinda sprinkles over it. And then we get our toothpaste. Just insert it right in the hole. Boobity boop. There we go, all done. You can see how I progressively got better at doing it. <laughs> Like at first they were all kind of blobbing together, then I got them actually in the individual guys. Anyway, then we add even more baking soda. Boobity boop. Oh, I added way too much. Oh my gosh, it's working, they're coming right out. Get back in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry out for a little bit and we'll try them on the intern. And like I said, not even five minutes later, I got you this. You just pop out the little thing and then you pop, put that in your mouth. So these are like little little toothpaste bites? Yeah, they're like, little toothpaste bites. Do I, I don't have a toothbrush, how am I supposed to use this? Don't worry, I'll let you borrow one of mine. <laughs> 69. I've had this toothbrush uh, for three years. Oh, one second, let me take the magnet off so it's a little easier for, there we go, perfect. Like I said, I've been using this toothbrush for three years. Oh, me and it have so many memories. Break out the old toothbrush. I think it might be working. Let's put a little bit of spit shine on there. Yep, there we go. Scrub, scrub, scrub. This is disgusting. <laughs> anyway, that's the story of me and this toothbrush, and now I'm letting you use it. You know, I didn't see any of your flashbacks, so I'm really hoping you didn't do anything weird with it. But I'll trust you, sounds reliable. Is it good? Is it I, working? Yeah, they're like, um. <laughs> 
This is a lot of fun. This is really cool. And it's just the right amount of toothpaste that I need to get a good brush in for my teeth. Exactly, that's the point. Hey, and you want to see a life hack with this toothbrush? Sure. Here. All you gotta do is turn on your sink, and then water comes out the end of this straw. Here, try it for yourself. Okay. How's it working? Honestly, it's not working at all. I, the poppets were cool, but this is this is trash. Hey, that's my trusty toothbrush, okay? <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. It does. Well, I'll see you in a second, turn. I'm gonna go prepare the next hack. I mean, uh, uh I mean the next part of the vlog. <laughs> Here's how to make yourself a fancy cake. What you're gonna want to do is get some pancake batter and mix in some food dye. Put that bad boy in there. You got yourself a colorful pancake. Cakes. Gotta add the whipped cream. Yum yum. Add some fruit. Boom, you got yourself a fancy birthday cake. Okay, let's try and make ourselves some fancy pancakes. Okay guys, so here's our waffle mix. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make our waffle mix. Recipe calls for one cup. One, two, three. Two thirds cup of water. Break out our Mixitron 5000. I feel like this needs more water. Boobity boop. And we're gonna go ahead and separate it into three bowls. Go ahead and add our food dye. These three colors should do. And mix it up, baby, now. Mix it up, baby. Mix and shout. Now we go ahead and put them in bags to pour them easier. Here's our waffle maker. So let's see, on the outside, I'm gonna go ahead and do pink. Flip a little bit of that off. Oh my gosh. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Put it all around. We're just gonna go around town. I definitely should have made more waffle mix. I'm gonna do blue. Now for green. Now we're gonna close it up and just hope that this actually works. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, and I think it's done. Whoa! It's, it definitely could be a little bit more vibrant, but it looks pretty darn tasty. Okay, let's pop this guy out. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna add a little bit of whipped cream. Oh my gosh. Oh man, we're all out of whipped cream. Okay, let's try this bad boy. Oh, this is gonna be good. I think that the whipped cream made the waffle a little soggy. Well, let's see if it tastes any good. I mean, I'm assuming it's just gonna taste like a waffle covered in whipped cream, like, right? <laughs> Pretty much what I'd expect. If I had more, I could definitely make a giant cake out of this. Let me know if you guys think I should make a giant stack of these. That would be pretty interesting. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. That would probably give it a uh, eight out of 10. I really like the idea of colored pancakes. Pretty fun. Are you tired of the ear straps over your mask hurting your ears? Oh, they're so sore. Well, here's an easy solution. All you gotta do is make yourself an S hook out of 3D filament, pull it right up, and use it to connect your ear straps. Slide it right over your neck, and boom, problem solved. This one seems pretty handy. Let's try it out. Okay, so S hook, this is gonna be pretty easy. So we just gotta make an S. I'm gonna make an outline with this pen. Just, to, you know, really make sure that I get it. S. How hard could this be? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, pull this guy up. I'm gonna reinforce it just a little bit. There we have it, we got ourselves an S hook. Let's try it to see if it works. Okay, S hook, mask. Now we're just going to put the S hook right on the mask like that. Put it over our face. We're gonna connect it right there. Wow! Yeah. It looks like it's actually working. It's holding to my face and it's not on my ears, so that's handy. Hey well, guys, I guess we were gonna have to say that this one works. Are you tired of using tape on your posters just for them to rip when you take it off? All you gotta do is tape a paper clip to your wall and put a magnet right over it. Boom, uh, no more rip posters. I feel like in theory this is a good one, uh, but we'll find out. So for this one, I'm gonna need some wall space, which really isn't something that I have. Even my ceiling is covered in posters. I guess that this spot is the only place that's gonna work. Go ahead and grab ourselves some tape. Yes, perfect. Then we grab ourselves some paper clips. Uh, yeah, these ought to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and take these paper clips and just uh, tape them right to the wall. There we go. And then, oh, yeah, it uh, looks good. Go ahead and grab our poster. And I still don't have any other magnets, so I guess my toothbrush is just gonna have to do. Oh, it 
It's working! Honestly, guys, this is art. You don't need anything else in your life. This is all you need. This is beautiful. I I love it. Now, if I ever need my toothbrush, my poster, or some paper clips, I know exactly where it is. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Okay, so picture this. It's a hot, sweaty summer day, and you and your friend are just fighting over the fan. Then your other friend comes in, and he just strips down. You're like, oh, God, Michael! Michael, why? Why do you always do this? You're just blocking yourself from his nudity, but he just goes and puts his pants right on the fan. Michael, it's a hot, sweaty summer's day. Your pants are gonna smell like balls. They don't seem to mind it. Why do they look so happy? Stop it! No! Well, it looks like I gotta freaking try this now. Thanks a lot, Michael. First thing we're gonna do, break out our fan. It's a little bit short, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my stool. Oh, God! Does this thing get higher? Like, does it get taller? It does! I don't even need this stool. Perfect. Then we go ahead and grab some pants and just put them right over our fan. Uh, we have a problem. My pants are too small. I'm too small of a guy. Do I have any sweatpants or anything? I guess not. Oh man, you need some big pants for it to be able to fit over a fan like that. Okay, I'm just gonna start her up. Okay, it's full speed. Doesn't seem to want to work. Oh man. I got it. I'll use duct tape. Tape on my pants just like this. Yeah, that should do it. Come on. Oh yes, I can feel the cool, cool breeze. Actually, there's there's something coming out of here. You can barely feel it. You got this, pants. You got this. <gasps> there's actually wind blowing out of my leg hole. And this one too. Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I think it would work better if I had bigger pants. But other than that, I think just the oscillating feature will do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and grab this guy and my baseball bat. What are you gonna do with this? Go to Mike's computer. Go to YouTube. Oh, looks like he was watching my channel. And he's even subscribed. I'm surprised he's still subscribed after all these mean pranks I've been doing. You guys should definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. We're just gonna go ahead and put broken screen. Full screen it. Oh, -ho! awesome. Okay guys, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Toby, what have we done? What happened? Oh, oh what my happened? gosh. Oh, dude, dude, Mike. Dude, I'm so sorry. I, me and Toby do? were playing some baseball in your office, and I actually played baseball with a tennis ball. Look, I I accidentally hit him into your TV. That's company property. I know. Well, I could get in. Look, I was just practicing my baseball. I was expecting to pay for that. We're really sorry. I don't care. I'm going to get in trouble. My boss is going to fire. Me when he finds Mike, I am your boss. Oh. Also, Mike, I have a confession. Are you in love with me? No. This was a prank the whole time. Oh. Well, if it... Let's check it out. It was a YouTube video. Oh. You know, if it wasn't a prank, would you still buy me a new one, though? Uh. uh I mean, uh, company I, property, right? I, I gotta. Uh, uh, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this oh. one works. Are you actually breaking the computer? Company property, Robbie! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a little pad. And also some more liquid latex. Okay, so they just kind of ripped theirs in half like this. They put the fluffy part on the outside. Do you want your left or right eye? I feel like the left eye would be easier for me. So Tori doesn't want me to get it in her little eyebrow, whatever's left of her little eyebrow here. So I'm gonna have to be really careful to get it kind of like up here instead. We're gonna go ahead and add the latex. Now we let it dry for a little bit. A few moments later. Now that that's dry, we go ahead and break out our fake blood. You can't tell, but Tori's winking right now. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Tori, where did your eye go? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now I don't really have any pencils, so we're actually gonna use a drill bit because I feel like it kind of goes better with the theme. It was actually Tori Debranski's idea. So now I have to carefully put this drill bit in your eye. Don't move, please. Tell me if I hit anything. It's so scary. I feel like this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh no! I can't really get it in. <laughs> I'm gonna get some scissors. Hmm, Robbie. Don't move. 
<laughs> okay, I'll put, my like I'll put my finger back here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it off, and I'm just gonna put the holes in already. Put that in. That's a little better, I guess. And then I gotta redo the liquid latex on her face. Yeah, yeah we can, now I just gotta put it back on. Now let me put it on. Be very, very careful. Ooh, that's looking pretty spooky. Now the only problem is we have to let it dry again a little bit. So I guess we gotta wait for it to dry again. <laughs> now that it's dry, I'm gonna touch up some of the blood. Right up in there. Gravity from the blood would have gone down like this. Maybe touch up some of this. Tori, what did you do to your eye? I don't know how to use tools. <laughs> this was Tori's first time using a drill. You can't be mad. It's <laughs> pretty scary face, Tori Dabransky. I don't know how you do it. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. And it looks really crazy. Do you like it, Tori? <laughs> Okay, so apparently we just go ahead and take an eyeshadow. I think that's an eyeshadow. They don't really say what they use in the video. Is this even eyeshadow? I'm sure I don't know ma what makeup is. Anyway, we take some of this, we scrape it onto here. I'm gonna use this blue, because I want blue eyebrows. You know, to make it match my hair. And I don't have any regular aloe vera gel, I just have this afterburn stuff. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> And we get a mascara brush and we mix it together. <laughs> this is not looking good. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I should be concerned. Okay, time to put this stuff in my eyebrows. This is exactly what I thought I would be doing when I was five years old. I was like, mommy, I want to put blue stuff inside of my eyebrows. I feel like it's going to make my eyebrows dye blue or something. I guess it's just makeup. <laughs> I'm using the viewfinder in my camera. That's why this is really bad. Oh my goodness. I got a lot of extra on there. <laughs> oh no! Ah! I'm gonna wipe a little bit of the uh, extra makeup off, but I look like a Muppet. My eyebrows are way too thick. This is great! I look like that one little white dog with eyebrows. Hmm, hey there! Oh! Well, my eyebrows are definitely blue, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works! Good job, 5 Minute Crafts! <laughs> Okay, so here's our nail polish. Okay, which, uh, which nail polish should I pick out? I think I'm gonna go with uh, some hot pink and some blue. So here's the tape I'm gonna use. It's actually gaff tape. I'm hoping that I can cut this really thin so it'll fit on my nail really nicely. Okay, yeah, not bad. And just put that on there. Then I'm gonna do the other ones. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we just gotta paint our nails. Boop, boop. Just really do a professional job on this. We can't be having my nails look bad now, can we? Oh man, I forgot my thumb. It's okay, it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. Now we're gonna do blue on the other nails. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, that is a beautiful, oh, I really like that blue actually. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry for a little bit and then I'll peel the tape off. 12 seconds later. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Peel these bad boys off. <gasps> what? There's actually a line. That's just amazing. What about this one? Oh my, what? It's not the best line I've ever seen, but it'll do, I guess. Ooh, this one's also kind of bad. This one, uh, I mean, are there lines on my fingernails? Kinda. Does it look good? Not really. But I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one does work. Okay guys, there's our vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, I can already tell this is not gonna smell great. Ugh, I hate the smell of vinegar. Swish it around a little bit. And then we fry our egg. It looks like I forgot a spatula. Definitely not the best non-stick for eggs in a pan. See if I can actually take it off of here. Ugh. This does not look great. I definitely would not eat it. I mean, it does look kind of rubbery. Okay, I'm guessing this is about done. Oh man. Oh gosh. I did not like that. Oh, come back. There we go. Okay, now it's time to see if this will actually be stretchy. Not looking forward to this. And it already broke. Ah, it's so hot! Dude, this is just bre- Oh, I broke the yolk! This is not stretchy at all. This is just a normal egg covered in vinegar! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So since Tori is busy being my secretary right now, that means that her room is empty and she's not in there. And I was right. And she even left her diary unattended. Guys. 
guys, can you believe this? Do not open, especially if your name is Robbie. What? Tori Dabransky, what the heck are you hiding in here? Okay, guys, I'm gonna open this. This might ruin our relationship forever, but I'm willing to take that risk. You ready? <gasps> what? Robbie is a stinky guy? <gasps> Tori Dabransky, <gasps> oh, I'm gonna get you back, Missy. Go ahead and break out some zip ties, and then we're just gonna start zip tying this thing together. She'll never see this coming. There we go! Now time to put this back in Tori's room. Okay, go ahead and put this guy back. Perfect. It's like I never even touched it. You know, minus the zip ties, I, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Okay guys, I managed to hide the camera, so you can't really see it at all. Now I'm gonna go and hide and wait for Tori to Bransky. Uh, uh, Tori, where do I hide? I caught it in this bear. It's perfect. That'll wait for Tori to Bransky. Six and a half hours later. Thomas, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Diary? No, I would never read your diary. It says do not open. I didn't, especially I didn't even I didn't if your name's Robbie. I didn't open it. I definitely didn't see that you said I was stinky. You definitely opened it then. <laughs> I don't like this. You've been pranked! <laughs> also, Tori, I filmed it! What? You didn't even see this camera, no, did you? I didn't even see the camera right there on that tripod. <laughs> I'm a master at hiding cameras. You're so good at it. Wait, how are you getting that off? I don't think you used quite enough. Tori, zip ties are impossible to take off. How are they? What? What are you writing now? No, what? No, stop, stop. What? Robbie is even stinkier no. than Benji's butt? No, don't. Tori to Fransky. Yeah. Can you believe this, Benj? She's saying I'm stinkier than your butt. Yeah, take her pants. It's the ultimate prank. We're pranking you. You've been pranked. You can't even get these pants. Those are mine. Those are mine. No, Take the pants, Ben. Take her pants. I have to say that this one works. I can't believe you looked through my diary. Well, I gotta go. Now that I know all your secrets, our relationship is really strong. I'll see you later. Guys, it's been a good six minutes since I've seen the intern. Let's see what he's up to. I'm just eating your food, dude. Yeah. Good stuff. Intern, what the heck? The crust? Eat your crust, intern. Eat your crust, Richie. The crust is nasty. I don't wanna. Intern, eat your crust. No. Stop. What are you Stop. Don't worry, intern. I have a hack for this. So we take this uneaten crust that the intern just didn't want to eat and simply roll it right up. Then we take a skewer and just lance that bad boy. Ah! I broke it. No. I can fix this. Don't worry. It's okay. It's just a smaller one. Yes. I won't make the same mistake as last time. Then after we do that, we just have to fry these bad boys up. Put in some delicious butter. Mmm, yummy. Cholesterol. Then once our butter is all melted, we just toss them right in there. I don't know how well it's gonna work with these skewers because unfortunately it's not making full contact with the pan. But I'll try my darn best. Two hours later. It's falling off the stick. Ah, no! Nope. It completely fell off! Why am I so bad at parenting? Much, much, much later. So after we're done frying it up, we dip it in some brown sugar. This looks so delicious. We just got some carbs, we got some sugar. What else could you need? I'll even put this one in that I messed up on. Ah, it's so hot. Ah, ah, this looks great. Let's see if it's intern approved. Hey, intern. I'm playing a game. Ah! I made you this delicious treat out of the crust that you just oh so refused to eat. You got me some snacks? I got you some snacks, that's right. Oh, I love this snacks. one's for you. <gasps> and this you. one's for me. You ready to try these bad boys? Yes, sir. Mmm, this is delicious. That's really good. I actually really like it. Thank you, Robbie. No problem. You're being really nice to me today. You can call me your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little weird. I'm just kidding. I'm not your daddy. I'm glad you like this intern. Mm-hmm. I love bread crust now, Robbie. Thank oh. you. You're welcome. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely <laughs> works. Okay, so you're in the middle of getting ready for work, school, whatever the heck it is you do. Boom! You break your freaking comb. All the bristles are gone. You just use this thing to the bone. Just get yourself an outline of a comb. Start filling it in. 
and make yourself a new one. We are here for crafty solutions. Don't have a comb, just 3D print yourself a new one. That easy, gosh. You really want to go crazy, you can decorate it too. I don't know if I want to go that far. <laughs> I just want to know if this would be a real utility you can use. That should be the goal for this one. Well, let's find out. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is find a comb outline. Perfect. Went ahead and printed it out with my crummy printer. And we're going to go ahead and print it out in real life with my crappy 3D pen printer. It loves to go to sleep after 30 seconds. Yay. Okay, now we just got to fill this guy in. Let's hope uh, this goes smoothly. Okay, we're all done printing it out. Now try and take it off the paper. Please don't break. Please don't break. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have used paper. I'm not really sure what kind of surface I'm supposed to use uh, with this 3D pen. I guess if I was a little bit smarter, I would have Googled it and, you know, came into this a lot more prepared, but I guess it doesn't look bad for, like, my first try making a comb. Now let's try it. Whew. Okay, let's hope this doesn't get stuck in my hair. Is ready for this? Oh, I already broke it. Ah, ouch! I mean, it's working for all intents and purposes. Okay, I'm just gonna break this part off. Oh, got some hair. I think it's kind of because some of the 3D pen is pretty scraggly and it really likes to hold on to your hair. But I mean, it's kind of working. We have this much of the comb left. Ugh, don't need that anymore. Ugh, look at all that hair that it took out. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we could say that this guy actually works. Here's how to make yourself a fancy curtain holder. Get two magnets, hot glue those bad boys together, boobity boo, then you spray paint that bad boy, and there you go, you got yourself a fancy curtain holder. Yeah, well, uh, let's do it. So still, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of extra magnets, so it looks like we're gonna have to just use the one from my toothbrush. And I was thinking instead of another magnet, I could just use something metal. Yeah, I think this, uh, this metal jar lid will work. Ugh. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, those ought to stick together very nicely, actually. But before I make a mess, I'm gonna break out some parchment paper. I definitely don't want this to get everywhere. Oh, that is a that is a clean rip. It's okay, this doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go! Now I have to let this cool down for a little bit. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna get really burned. Okay, guys, time for the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure it's definitely gonna hold it. Here we go. Oh! Ooh, it's working! Wow! Look at that! Look how multi-functional this is. I got my toothbrush right here, and it's holding the curtain up, and uh, how convenient! Well, guys, I have to say that this one 100% works. It's you're hanging it out and your phone just randomly dies. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? So you go rummaging through your purse and all you find is your charger cable. So what you do is you take apart a pen, get your car charger, plug that bad boy in, and get a nine volt battery. Attach the spring to one of the sides. Apparently, it freaking charges it. What a freaking contraption. I love it. This is peak life hack right here, guys. Peak. Freaking A1 life hack. But does it actually work? We're about to find out. Okay, so here's our battery. Go ahead and take apart our pen so we can get this little spring. Don't need this anymore. Let me grab our car charger. Oh no. It looks like uh, this one's not going to attach to the spring. Um, <laughs> I didn't think about this one. I'll try the old tinfoil trick. Let's go ahead and attach the spring using some tinfoil. Maybe, or, okay, another plan. I take the spring apart. Ugh, I didn't really want to do this because I wanted to save my pen. Stretch this out a little bit. Here we go. And then we just shove it right in there, maybe. It'll fit. Okay, it fits. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just go and plug our cable right into it like that. Attach the spring to one of the sides. Okay, I messed it up a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, then we just have to attach it like this. First, I have to plug it in my phone. Boop. Okay, you ready? And... <gasps> it charged it! It's working! Slow charging. Okay, so it looks like, uh, <laughs> it doesn't work super great, but it is charging it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Baba Booey. Okay, so for this one, I just need a mirror. Anyway, right, this is what you guys look like. You're just a camera, see? All you guys are is a camera to me. Well, that sounds a little bad. You guys are just a camera to me. You guys mean a lot more to me than that. I swear. Anyway, we're gonna get our mirror, and we get our phone, and we just take ourselves a photo. Yeah, these turned out pretty.
pretty good, I have to admit. Now let's go ahead and send it to the intern. Okay guys, so Mike is chilling out on his couch right over there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send it right now. What the fudge is this? One goofy guy, I swear to God. You've been pranked! Oh, hi, Robbie. I sent you a crazy photo. Yeah, I mean, joke's on you. I'm gonna post this all over on the- What? No! No, Mike! Yeah, I'm gonna no. make this thing go viral. I'm gonna break I'm your phone again! No! I'm breaking your phone! Stop, 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 st